Morning folks. This morning soap is brought to us by Vanulay. The name of this one here is Killies. It's one of my favorites since from uh, Monica. And that's what it looks like there on the inside. It's going to be, uh, <clears throat> the soap is brown. And so it's going to be, uh, I guess you might say, like a beige color when it's whipped up in the bowl here. And I do have it whipped up on the, just a little on the wet side. It might drip for you just a little bit there. Just about perfect. At least for me. I like my uh, lather on the wet side. It uh, works better for me. As well as I uh, usually paint it on also. Painting works well for my face. <laughs> got the album block this morning. No rubber band. And also got Humphrey's Witch Hazel here that's been methylated and got some peppermint in it. And I'm going to follow up with the uh, matching aftershave here. And typical with um, Vanillet's aftershaves, you might want to give them a good shake before you uh, apply it on the face. The uh, shaver of the day is uh, been shaving with this the past few days, and this is a focus dynamic. It takes a half of a DE blade. That's what it looks like there on the back side. It's made in Italy. It's got a pivoting head. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. For me, uh, this is a pretty, pretty easy going shaver. Uh, yesterday, uh, when I shaved with it, um, like today, it's got a treat blade. This will be the second use on this treat platinum. And uh, had two days worth of growth yesterday when I used it and had no problems uh, taking down two days worth of growth and uh, just a nice, easy going, smooth shave. And uh, I really enjoy using this shaver. I've used it for the past few days. And I uh, forgot to mention that the this brush, if you can see the bottom of that, that's the Shaven Sailor. It's a 3D printed brush handle. And it's got a horsehair knot in it. White. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I just really enjoy this shaver. It's a... Uh, I probably use it just a little different than what some other folks may use it uh, even with the pivoting head I still use it as if it is a uh, shaver with a fixed head and when I shave with it like that it seems to work well for me I'll have a link down below by the way for this uh, these items as well as scent profile and all that neat stuff this um, particular soap is um, uh, Emu and a tallow, if I remember correctly. If you were wondering about the soap base. But, um, yeah, this shaver is pretty nice. I try to use the pivoting head part for the, uh, I guess you might say, around corners, where maybe I'm not quite as uh, proficient as I should be with it. Matter of fact, with the uh, two-day growth, there's uh, things went pretty well in that uh, didn't even notice that uh, the, the, any clicking with the head or anything like that. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you're if you're clicking throughout the stroke, that kind of tells you that your uh, your angle is off, <laughs> in my opinion. It is made of uh, all aluminum. It does have uh, a notch right here that's pretty, I mean, it works just fine. Put my finger right there and it helps with the control. Cleans up pretty easy. Uh, it does come with a stand that you'll have to purchase separately. You don't have to have the stand if you're uh, uh, it serves as two features. In other words, not only a stand, but it helps with uh, uh, taking the cap off. Loading and unloading the blade, I guess you might say. I, um, me, myself, uh, I bought it because I wanted the stand for that purpose. Changing the blade is not an issue. At least not for me, it's not. It's pretty easy to do. There is a video out there that not only shows you how easy it is to uh, 
part of the superior shave. Uh, how easy to snap a blade, load the blade in it, put it together. It's pretty, you know, pretty straightforward video. The scent is pretty nice. It is one of my favorites. Yesterday I used uh, Black Cavendish and this one here. Uh, Black Cavendish, I guess you might might consider it a smooth scent, where this one here is a bit more bold. This is a mild shaver. It's not real aggressive. So even with a, uh, my experience with a, with a feather blade, you can tell just a slight difference in the shave but for the most part still very smooth shave. So if you have some blades that you feel that are pretty sharp, and what I would refer to as edging, this would probably be a good shaver to use it in. Helps tame those uh, really sharp ones. This is a lot of fun to use when it comes to like if you're you're in a hurry, short on time, overslept, whatever the case might be. Uh, this shaper here, easy to use for me, uh, just about effortless. And not only that, it's not that you can't cut yourself with this, but For me, I have to work at it. And it may have a lot to do with the, my experience with single edge shavers. Fixed heads, gem style in other words. I do like the handle. That notch was a pretty good idea. Fits the hand just right. Weather out here has been, been kind of wild. <laughs> We've been having quite a bit of rain. We're expecting rain again this week. And uh, the, uh, we're supposed to have an encore performance, if you will, at the football stadium. I think it's tomorrow. Yes, it is tomorrow. The high today, I think, is supposed to be 49. The lows near freezing I think it is or something like that yesterday it was up around 70 was the high really nice day <laughs> Tuesday is supposed to rain <laughs> it's just you know for around here this typical Oklahoma weather but the encore performance of the uh, what they did for the competition is what they're going to try to do. Waiting to see if they don't get it, uh, get the day mood due to the weather. Like I said, this is a pretty mild shaver, so. Um, it's easy to get a pretty quick shave with it. Once you get used to it, I feel like it is possible to, um, like you say, get a BBS shave. I don't strive for one of those. Mine is smooth and comfortable. That's what I work towards. Smooth and comfortable. Because that makes the shave much more enjoyable to me. So I know if I try, try to go after a BBS, my face isn't going to be too happy. I have some places that are pretty tender. A 
I guess you might say it takes didn't take a whole lot to get it good and irritated. I guess you might say also if you're uh, using a leaf shaver because it's you know the size of the head and whatnot. Maybe you're not particular a big fan of the twig or maybe the plastic part is not working well for you. This would be awesome on the top lip. Like I say, nice and mild. I get pretty close to my facial hair without, <clears throat> I guess you might say, risking taking quite a bit off. The scent is really nice. It's pretty close. I get 95% or more of the whiskers off, then I'm pretty happy. There's just a little bit left in spots. In other words, if I wanted to chase it. And this one here, for me, if I was to do that, I probably would be okay. Be cutting it kind of close whether I'm going to get any irritation because it is such a smooth shaver. Still think this would be a good one for somebody to start out with. The um, the mildness, pivoting head kind of helps. My son still he's enjoying the. Uh, matter of fact, it's just right over here. He enjoys uh, the vintage shaver here. This uh, Gillette flare tip. That's what he prefers. Um, he's used that one along with a black handle. He's used the, the Focus Dynamic, and he just seems to really enjoy that one, which is uh, quite all right. It's just kind of interesting sometimes what a uh, person just starting out, what they enjoy using, and that's the one he picked. The poor guy. Uh, Saturday was their prom. Homecoming, I'm sorry, homecoming. So they were going to the, getting ready for the dance and everything. So, you know, he puts the suit on and all that sort of thing, tie. And um, we um, we got ready. <clears throat> Went ahead, you know, took the pictures at the park, you know. And, and then they were going to go out to eat. And he was not feeling well beforehand. He got sick. He threw up. <laughs> they never did make it to, to the dance. <laughs> He's, he's trying to hang in there, you know, but <laughs> the poor guy. He was trying to make it, but he was just not feeling well. There's uh, some sort of virus, stomach virus, that's been going around for the past few weeks. And uh, he managed to get it. But they had planned. Uh, it did work out in one, one way. They were selling the tickets ahead of time, and um, him being the the guy he is, he he spaced it off and forgot to get the tickets. And they, if you buy the tickets to the prom, the homecoming that is in advance, uh, you save yourself a little bit of money. Well, he hadn't bought the tickets. He's gonna have to buy them at the door, so he's got to pay more money. Well, since he was gonna buy them at the door and didn't actually make it in there, he saved himself the money for the tickets. So. At any rate, <laughs> silver lining in it <laughs> somewhere. Really nice shave this morning. Base feels really, really good. Like I say, I really like this shaver. It is, it, it's one that will spoil you. It's easy to get bad habits technique-wise and whatnot. But, hey, for especially for somebody starting out, maybe you don't have a lot of facial hair that you're trying to take off. Something like this would be very much easy going. Takes the half of a DE blade. So if you've already started down that road of using a DE, you can use the same blade. Just snap them in half, place them in there. Uh, the, let me see, you can see it's pretty simple on this back side on how this is put together. Um, what I use is I use a towel to help slide it like that right there. I just use the towel in front of me. I don't use the stand to, to change out my blades. And uh, got a little bit of soap in there, so there we go. 
That's what it looks like underneath. Here's the Treat Platinum Blade. It's a lot like the uh, Focus Slim. Same kind of loading process, if you will, instead of sliding, you know, because of it being a shape bed, it's more or less the same kind of setup. It, that, that half blade just sits right up in there. For me, it's that, it's easy to clean. <laughs> it's, it's a great shaver, in my opinion. I really like it. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooshays to you.